Hello everyone, I am 22 Tiger Dude. It is the first SpongeBob episode of the year 2013. Nickelodeon started it off with a new SpongeBob episode on January 1st, 2013, and it's my first SpongeBob episode review of the year 2013. So, what's the episode? It's the episode on Squid Defense, where Squidward's groceries get stolen. Well, not really get stolen, but you get my point. And he asks SpongeBob and Sandy to teach him karate lessons. But Squidward wants to use it on revenge on this person that supposedly stole his groceries. When I saw the promos for this episode, I was actually pretty interested because... Because we saw Patrick learn karate and karate star. Now we get to see Squidward learn karate. And maybe in the future we'll see Mr. Krabs do karate. But it's so cool to see Squidward uh, learn karate. Plus the fact that we actually saw Squidward for the second time out of the whole series be in Sandy's tree dome. And wear the water helmet. Just the lessons and the whole episode. It was great. It was superb. It's not perfect. I did have a couple of problems with it. But it was enjoyable. Some people do hate this episode though. And watching the episode. I can understand why people hate this episode. So if you hate this episode. Then that's fine. I understand. But I just enjoyed this episode. Because it was just good to see Squirt do karate. I enjoyed the storyline. Execution is nicely done. The pacing is where it needs to be. There were a lot of moments that actually did crack me up, especially at the ending. My main problem I have with this episode, though, was the fact that Squidward never took, he never took this whole karate thing seriously. He pretty much just used Sandy and SpongeBob just to get revenge. And Sandy even told Squidward plenty of times that she doesn't want to teach Squidward if he's going to use it for a wrench. But Squidward d just never listened to Sandy or Spongebob. And that's his fault. And plus there's this ending. The ending, it felt a bit rushed in my opinion. And I still didn't like the behavior Squidward had at the ending and all that stuff. But the ending was funny because, um, well, uh... Should I spoil what happens at the ending? Okay, okay, fine. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you an ending spoiler alert. So, once you see this video, say unmute. You could raise a, your volume back up. But if you don't want to hear the ending, go ahead and unmute your volume. Okay, so what happens in the ending is that Squidward is has learned karate, well, at least enough. So he goes into the dumpster, he sees this guy, this big guy, he's coming up to him, but Squidward's like, you want a piece of this, I see. So he throws the stuff at this big guy, he hurts him, he does all of his moves that he learned from Sandy, because actually Sandy told him to clean the house, because one who moves learns the proper way of karate, which was what Sandy did. So, he hits this guy, and it turns out that this guy wasn't bad. It just turned out that he was trying to give Squidward's groceries back, and it was messed up, but it actually made me laugh that that big guy got hurt. His groceries never got stolen in the first place, just so you know. He just dropped it when he was running away from that supposedly vicious guy. And then Sandy and Spongebob, they see him, um, they say, th they say, uh, how Squidward dishonored their trust in karate and all that stuff. Squidward's just like, whatever. And then the cop, this is where the ending was funny. The cop, out of nowhere, just comes up to Squidward. He's smiling. He's all like, he just takes Squidward all normally. No angriness or anything. He was just happy. And it was just funny. It just felt a bit rushed, in my opinion. And I felt like they could have added at least one more to the ending. But, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the ending. And one last thing. It was so good to see Sandy back because, not counting It's a Sponge of Christmas since she was in Claymation, Sandy has not made an appearance since Squirrel Record. 
Squirrel Record. And you, you and do you remember when that episode came out? It came out in July, two thousand twelve. That's unacceptable. All right, this isn't counting. It's a Splendor Christmas since it was in claymation. But Sandy has been underused lately. The writers should already know this by now. They better use more Sandy because I enjoy that character very much. And I want to see her get involved in more uh, adventures. Adventures with Splendor and Patrick. And you know, I just want to see her in more adventures and all that stuff. So writers, uh, as of 2013 goes along, I better see more Sandy. But, you guys, despite a couple of its problems, I enjoyed Squid Defense. Superb start to the year 2013. I look forward to what 2013 has to offer us with new episodes of Spongebob. And I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. Subscribe to me. Comment below and give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode. Like this video. Share this video. I hope you all enjoyed what you've seen here, and don't forget...